Good afternoon. My name is Grant Kimberly, I'm Director of Market Development for the Iowa Soybean Association. Well, today was a big day in the world of agriculture as the United States Department of Agriculture released its all important perspective uh, planting intentions report, uh, where USDA does farmer surveys and estimates what we will see for our major crops that will be planted in the United States this coming growing season. Uh, this last uh, report w indicated uh, a very big surprise, actually, than what the market was expecting going into the report. Um, we saw USDA come out and say that they're projecting uh, we will have 89 million acres of soybeans planted this year in the United States. That actually is a record, um, or near record, where it is more than um, any other crop that's planted. So soybeans will be the largest uh, crop that will be planted on the most acres of any crop in the United States this year. And that's the first time that's happened since about 1983. Um, and corn acres were also surprised as they were uh, reduced a little bit and they're projected to be approximately 88 million acres. Um, we saw cotton acres increase, uh, spring wheat acres increase, some other small grain acres increase and uh, that was where uh, some of the changes uh, came that we weren't expecting. Uh, that also reduced uh, some of the overall soybean and corn acres. Um, other things about this report, uh, the stocks were also released, the carryover stocks, and those were at record numbers, uh, record high for soybeans. Uh, that has to do with uh, large global production that we've seen the last few years with record crops around the world. Uh, demand, global demand is still really strong though, it's just that we've had stronger production globally. Um, and then uh, the other thing we will see is, is South American weather. That's going to be a major factor going forward. Brazil is uh, getting close to harvesting and actually has already started harvesting in Argentina. Uh, we'll be harvesting more here in the near future as well. Brazil is projected to have a record crop. Argentina is projected to have a major uh, reduction in their crop due to drought conditions down there. So there's a lot of dynamics at play when it comes to the overall uh, soybean and corn markets uh, at this time. And then I would also say that uh, I was fortunate enough to return from a uh, trade delegation to, from China. We just were over there the last week and a half, uh, right in the middle of when the U.S. government announced uh, potential tariffs against uh, different industries in China, up to potentially $60 billion. Uh, and the Chinese uh, have indicated that they will most likely retaliate on some of U.S. products uh, if this goes forward. And one of the products, some of the products that they would target in particular would be agriculture related products, including things like soybeans, pork, uh, ethanol, sorghum was all mentioned. Uh, there could be other things as well. At this point, there are no uh, tariffs that have been put in place, but they're all proposed. But if these uh, go forward, that would be a negative factor to the overall soybean market. But one key message that we heard over and over from Chinese soybean buyers is that they still want to buy from the United States. Uh, they still see growth in the overall demand for soybeans in China. Uh, they're projecting growth of at least around 4% annually, uh, which is a big number when you look at they are already using about as many soybeans in China, uh, importing as many soybeans in China as what we grow in the United States. Uh, of course, uh, United States, South America are all major suppliers for, for Chinese soybeans. So the overall message is demand still looks good. It's growing in China. Um, we are seeing uh, these other geopolitical issues, though, come to the forefront. So we'll have to monitor that closely. So there's a lot of things at play, a lot of moving pieces to the market right now. But at least today, we've got good news uh, in the marketplace So with an increase in prices. Uh, uh, at least for the time being, uh, because of uh, reduced uh, projected acres of soybeans. Um, so as uh, farmers go to the field this year, I wish everyone a safe and productive uh, planting season uh, here later this month and, and into the, the month of May. Uh, stay safe and uh, monitor the situation and, and uh, keep a close eye on the markets. And so we'll see the, how this year turns out, and hopefully this will be a good year for all of Iowa and U.S. agriculture. Thank you and have a great day.